Okay, let's start. Uh, the next documentary, I have uh, interviewed people that they claim that have contacts with uh, aliens or entities. So, please, first, can you uh, say two words about the aliens, if you think they are uh, real, and what uh, the sciences tell about them? I do feel that <clears throat> extraterrestrials are real, and they've been interacting with our Earth since the very beginning, but there are military operations that are able to engineer what look like aliens, so there are some that are more military operated and some that are you know legitimate you know species and all sorts of different extraterrestrial races have been interacting also with our governments there's been et government treaties and a lot of cases of abduction and contact all throughout the world millions of cases actually and in my session work that i do i uh work with a lot of people that have had abduction experiences so um and they all share very similar stories Sorry. And, and yes, my clients share similar stories about their experiences. There are uh, all sorts of different types of scenarios that we're dealing with. Um, there's breeding programs. There are uh, multiple species with different agendas. And we do have a link in our own genetics with extraterrestrial races as well. And why um, the government that they don't um, um, claim about the aliens, they don't say the truth? Why? Because some are connected to an agenda that many humans probably would not support. So they needed the secrecy in order to implement certain things in relation to some of the uh, technology exchanges. And, um, and, 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 it's geared towards a transhumanism agenda. There's an AI, an artificial intelligence component, and a agenda to actually enslave human consciousness, even more so than what we've already experienced on this earth. Um, there's also, uh, there were laws put in place during the Eisenhower administration or right before he stepped into office that made this a top secret issue. And we've been dealing with infiltration and different groups that um, don't have our best interests at heart. So they've needed the secrecy so that they can work behind the scenes to get everything in place in order to push us into um, like a new world order agenda. Some of the more positive ones, they just decided not to disclose and ended up working with them behind the scenes. But I don't think that, you know, really helped us. Um, some positive races that wanted us to get rid of our nuclear weapons and and that we're warning us about the greys, but there's this hidden cabal that is sort of pulling the strings and we're part of the groups that um, closed this particular agreement down. And so we never really you know, got to understand them more. And most things haven't been able to be disclosed until the last decade or two. There's been a lot of disinfo and a lot of different plants put in place to make it a very difficult thing to understand and wrap our heads around. And so I think, you know, the more benevolent uh, leaders wanted to try and figure this out before disclosing it to the public, you know, and get a grip on what they were dealing with. But other groups have been behind the silencing of things like disclosure and also the control of disclosure so that when they disclose things about extraterrestrials, it's in the favor of the agendas that they have fallen into agreement with. There's a lot of hidden and advanced technologies that um, has, have not been given to the human race, connected to free energy, reversal of aging and disease, and ways to clean our air, food, and water, and end poverty and slavery and things like that. But it's been very, very difficult for those agendas to, you know, the more positive ones um, to give these things to humanity because of the opposition and because of these control agendas that don't want to see us thrive as a humanity because they sort of use us as a food source their own sustenance because they compromised their dna a long time ago so it's it's a very complex thing because we're dealing with multiple races and different agendas and different humans that have alliances with some of these different agendas 
And, and all these competing agendas have made it very, very difficult to disclose any of it to the public because um, we're already in a war, but it could turn into something that we might actually see this year. But but it's like disclosure cannot be contained anymore. The, the question is, when things get disclosed, is it going to benefit us as a human race? Or is what gets disclosed going to compromise us further with the utilization of these dark technologies? Things like, you know, chipping us, a lot of these events that have taken place recently, and how that's steering us towards things like contact tracing and greater control of humanity. Um, these things are starting to get more and more obvious to people, and they're beginning to, you know, seek their own answers to understand what the extraterrestrial connection is with all of that. And so the hope is, is that the more benevolent groups and the leaders aligned with them will gain the upper hand and we'll see a big wave of positive change on the planet. I understand. Uh, your grandfather was uh, president of Uni State uh, of America. Uh, what My great great grandfather, not grandfather. Yeah, okay, hey, great grandfather. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, my English is not perfect. Uh, the question is, when I talk a, li a lot of language in same day, is typical or so? Uh, what he think about the aliens? <sighs> I think. He wanted to side with the benevolent ones, and on some level, he, he has and he did, but he wasn't able to really, you know, put it out there. All that was, you know, sort of shut down. Um, he wanted to disclose things in his presidency, and he was silenced, and he wanted to work with Valiant Thor and the beings from Venus, and <clears throat> that got shut down, and he realized he didn't have as much power as a president should. And the whole ET technology exchanges got out of control because of things like MJ-12, how they began to distance him from being able to keep an eye on all this stuff. Uh -huh. And so he did have a desire to invade Area 51 to figure out what was going on because he wasn't being told anymore. And so I feel like he was in a deep struggle. Um, and he started to recognize that his advisors or his what he thought were individuals on his side were actually not on his side. And so he felt, I feel, very betrayed. And supposedly the treaties with the Greys um, is something that's renewed every 10 years. And in his administration, they considered it a surrender because we didn't have um, any way to really defend ourselves. Um, and the treaties ended up being broken. And I feel that his speech about the military industrial complex was helping us to understand this rise of dangerous power and that a knowledgeable citizenry is what it's going to take for us to overcome uh, a lot of these negative influences. Like we need to educate ourselves. We need to try and get to the bottom of things because our governments are having a real hard time disclosing what's going on because there's so much, there, there's a dark hidden shadow government and there's a lot of competing agendas and the position of the presidency, um, Is, is not told everything. And, and, and I, I feel like he felt very lost in his administration and like the situation had gotten out of control. But he implemented some things connected to positive military groups to help us during these times if things got sort of out of control. And that might be what we're seeing with, you know, the white hats and certain things that are happening behind the scenes in order to, uh, you know, bring down the, the dark, deep state um, with things like mass arrests and more exposure of the crimes against humanity. But I, I feel like it was a very confusing thing um, because there was a lot of deception and a lot of betrayal and a lot of deceit. And it was very difficult for him to wrap his head around it. But over the course of time, I think it became a lot more obvious to him. But then he stepped down and briefed Kennedy. And then later on, Kennedy gets assassinated. So there's been this, this uh, major threat to bringing humanity into what has been going on in the multi-levels of government and also secret space programs 